This is everything you need to know about the coronavirus. This coronavirus is affecting almost every country in the world right now. And as of today, me posting this video, there are almost 180,000 confirmed cases and over 7,000 deaths worldwide. Now let's talk about how this virus started. In late 2019 in Wuhan, China, that's where the first case of coronavirus was discovered. Experts believe that the coronavirus originated in bats, and then bats affected the markets in Wuhan, China, giving it to the people of that city. Now, this all started happening in late December of last year. So it's been about three months now, and there's more and more cases every single day. Now, another word for the coronavirus is COVID-19, if you've heard that before, too. The word COVID-19 comes from coronavirus. The co and vit and coronavirus are for the COVID part. The D stands for disease and the 19th stands for the year of which the virus was discovered. Now, a lot of people are worked up about this virus, but what are the symptoms exactly? The coronavirus is basically a flu, but it just spreads a lot easier. The symptoms include fever, like you would get from a flu, a dry cough, a lot of people get that with the coronavirus and the flu, a shortness of breath is pretty common too in a lot of cases, but if the case is serious enough, the patient might even get pneumonia. But coronavirus, about 80% of the cases are just mild. So not everybody is gonna die from the coronavirus like they probably would from the bubonic plague. Now, as of today, the fatality rate for the coronavirus is 3.4%. So if you do get the coronavirus, your likes of dying are 3.4 out of 100. But if you're younger and you get this virus, you're probably gonna be okay in the long run. But for older people, they have weaker immune systems. And these weaker immune systems can't fight off the virus very easily. So anybody can get the virus, but if you have a good immune system, you'll probably end up surviving. But for people that have bad immune systems or people with underlying health issues, they have a greater risk of dying from the coronavirus. It's said that 14% of people over the age of 80 with the coronavirus will die from this disease. So protect your grandparents at all costs. Now I think the scariest fact that I might say about the coronavirus is that the World Health Organization confirmed it to be a worldwide pandemic. They went public about it too, March 11th of 2020. Now let's talk about how it spreads so easily because people are getting it left and right, but how? Well, first of all, it lingers onto surfaces. So if you have the coronavirus and you sneeze on a table, it's gonna be on the table for a few days. So if somebody touches the table and then starts like rubbing their face or something, they can get the coronavirus. The main way it spreads is through people sneezing and coughing. Please cover your mouth when you sneeze or cough. It will greatly reduce the amount of people that can get the coronavirus if you have it. If you sneeze or cough into your arm like this, it's not gonna spread as easily because when people sneeze or cough, Tiny little microscopic droplets come out of their mouth and that can have the coronavirus. And if it gets onto somebody's face or nose or mouth or ears, any entryway into the body, they can get COVID-19. But it's kind of like that with the flu too, because if you have the flu and you sneeze on somebody's face, well, first of all, you're nasty. Second of all, they're probably gonna get the same flu. Now, it may seem that almost 180,000 cases is not a lot, but you'd be surprised how many big names actually have this coronavirus. The biggest confirmed name we have so far that has a coronavirus is Tom Hanks, the actor. Tom Hanks and his wife tested positive for having the coronavirus, so they're currently in isolation trying to stop the spread of their coronavirus to other people. Now, a couple of NBA players have the disease as well, like Donovan Mitchell and Rudy Gobert. Now, since the coronavirus is making the world go into such a frenzy, big events are just shutting down. For example, we have the NBA. At first, they were gonna have games with no fans to stop a big group of people from coming, but then when they found out that players are getting the coronavirus too, they just shut everything down, no more games. The whole season is suspended. Now pretty much every sporting event is canceling all of their public games from Major League Soccer, Major League Hockey, Major League Baseball, all of them. And it's even getting to the point where they're canceling big parades. As if you may know, St. Patrick's Day is coming up. You know the day where if you don't wear green at school, you get pinched? Yeah, that's St. Patrick's Day. Now Ireland celebrates this holiday very heavily to the point where they have parades all around the country on this day. But the Ireland government is shutting down these parades because too many people participate. Now another big event that got canceled is South by Southwest. It's in Texas. Thousands of people attend this event. So if coronavirus were at this event, it would probably spread to a lot of people. But you know what's really crazy? They shut down Disney World. They haven't shut down Disney World since like 2016 or something. I think there was a hurricane. But that's how you know this is really getting serious. Now one that you might be happy about are public school closing. Public schools are starting to make their students do their work online so they don't have to attend the school with everybody else there. Cause the school would definitely be an easy place for the coronavirus to spread around. Now let's talk about how you can help stop this virus from spreading. The first thing you can do is 
Wash your hands regularly. It's recommended by the World Health Organization to rinse your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds, which is the amount of time to sing happy birthday twice. The second thing you can do is to stay home as much as possible. If you're a kid watching this, you probably don't have school. You have online school for a little bit. So use that to your advantage and just stay home, sit in bed, do your online and just chill. Now the third thing that's really important, cover your mouth when you sneeze or cough, please. When you're going around, <coughs> <laughs> That's not helping anything, you're just nasty. Instead, cover your mouth when you sneeze or cough. Another thing you shouldn't do is to rub your face when your hands are dirty. If you know your hands are dirty and you got a little, and you got a little itch on your face, don't scratch it. Clean your hands first and then scratch it. Because your hands always have germs. And if you put all these germs on your face, what if one of those germs is the coronavirus? You're just putting the coronavirus on your face. Now I'm sure you can probably guess this next one. Avoid large crowds. If there's some plan and there's gonna be hundreds if not thousands of people there, it's probably not a good idea to even go. So yeah guys, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna summarize this video and say stay at home as much as you can, practice good hygiene, and cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze. Please, please. Cause there are a lot of people that don't do that. And it's nasty. All right, y'all, so I really hope this video helps spread awareness about the coronavirus. I don't want the whole world to go into a frenzy about it if they don't have to. If everybody takes good precautions about containing this virus, then that will greatly reduce the amount of people that will get it at the end of the day. Because that's basically all we can do, because sometimes it can take 5 to 14 days for symptoms to show up. So if you're going around coughing and sneezing on people, you might not even know that you have it, but you're giving it out. Also, if you want to learn more about the coronavirus, I'm going to put three trustworthy links in the description of this video. <sighs> Stay safe out there, y'all. I love you. <sighs> yep, I'm going inside.